Hello and welcome to another Writerly Witterings and today I've got a little bit of my voice back, that's a relief. The clock's going to kick off now, which is best good. Nope, that's all it is. Good. Quarter past. Today I thought it would be useful to talk about some things that came through in the post the other day. Now, I was very grateful to receive from Nero's Notes, that's Nero's Notes, a selection of books and goodies. I actually showed the uh, opening of that a little while ago. But the thing they did send that I thought I would talk about today is this. It's the Endless Recorder. Draw Right Dream, it says. It has blank sheets and it is the ideal canvas for all your thoughts. Not all of my thoughts are suitable for making a note of. 192 pages, 16 of them perforated. It's got a hard cover, 68 GM acid-free paper. Doesn't state it, but I've got a feeling this should be rather good. It says it's a notebook that loves ink. It ensures zero bleed through and feathering as tested with most pens and inks. Now, I am going to test it with my standard test of hideous Noodler's Bay State Blue that goes through everything and Diamine Sierra. I'm also going to be a lot more kind because I've decided that testing Noodler's on everything really just isn't generous because it is vicious with a lot of papers. So I have this, my little Visconti, loaded with some Ackermans Israel's Zeblau, which I think should be quite interesting to see how that compares. I also have, courtesy of Chris Curtis, thank you very much, my little pilot, which has got Autumn Oak from Diamine. So I think that with those two inks, we're getting a slightly more reasonable and generous or fair, to put it another way, test of different types of paper. What else am I looking at? I'm also going to be talking a little bit about the toolkit that comes with this endless notepad and the bag that comes with it. I will show you why I'm going to talk about these in a moment. So here we have Nero's Notes very, very generous of them to send this stuff through. I'm, I'm exceptionally grateful. I'll be saying so to them in a little while. But what they sent me was this really fascinating little bag and all these goodies. And I thought it would be useful because I mentioned this bag when it first arrived. And I said, oh, that's nice. It's quite a nice little cotton bag. Cotton or something, I'm not sure what. But what is nice is that it's designed with writing fellows in mind. So you keep your notebook and your pen inside there, all nice and safe. The pen loop is really quite a robust one. Nice bit of elastic that allows you to keep it secure. So I thought that was a really nice touch. And thanks very much for that. Now, before I get on to the endless notebook, I want to talk a little bit about this, because one thing that a lot of people do find difficulty with is when they're working in their nice new dot grid or plain blank page notebook, whatever it might be, they suddenly discover a total lack of ability. Excuse me, I just need a little bit of tea. They discover a total lack of ability to be able to draw a straight line or do anything interesting. So endless developed this, a revolutionary way of using your journal by madebyendless.com. So, here, this description is sized to fit inside your recorder, fits inside it, very handy. Why? Well, they've got some guiding sheets. So, we work closely with passionate users, etc. Yeah, you don't need to read all that. What it is, let's have a look and show you. Basically, what they've done is they've given you a bunch of sheets that can be used. I just hit the camera stand. I do apologise. So, they've got a group of sheets which can be used 
for tracing. So if you want two columns in your book, you have two columns. If you want three columns for your journaling, you've got three. If you want to have it broken up into different split sections of pages, you can do that as well. I assume this would be useful for a planner or a diary, since it says planner layout. But they also have other things. They have interesting circles. They have interesting triangles. Common shapes, they call them. Quite sensible. And these things. No idea what that would be used for. Can't imagine many people... Well, I can't actually imagine myself using any of them, because I tend to freehand and make a mess of things that way. It's much, much easier than getting something else to make a mess with. But they have all these different shapes, all these different ideas. If you want to convert it into dot grid, you can. All sorts of different idea, which I think is just a brilliant idea. And the great thing, of course, is all of these fit in the back of your recorder. This is the recorder. It is a very moleskin-like book, I would say. It has... The standard enclosure, as you'd expect, it's obviously got a bookmark, because I can see a bookmark sticking out there, there's a bookmark at the top there, and I dare say it's got a pouch at the back where you can keep your toolkit stuff. Let's find out. So, plastic covering comes off and here we have <laughs> people tell me they really like seeing when I really mess up things on these videos so I'll leave that little oops a daisy knock on the thing in <laughs> right so this is actually a very nice cover I like that it's a sort of matte not quite faux leather but very nearly cover which is very nice endless logo at the bottom there it's got some sort of strange logo across there which i haven't got the faintest idea what it might be and inside oh right okay loads of stuff inside let's have a look first of all here just to show what it says it's got Ideal canvas for all your thoughts, going in the inside and outside and all that. Do, do, do. Designed in Madras, made in India. I find that quite pleasant too, because we often find stuff from coming through from uh, Japan or America over here. It's very uncommon to get new goodies from India, so that's rather a nice sheet, fact in its own right. So, there's a guide sheet, which you can use on your pages. There's a little sticker saying ideas are endless. I like that. You can register your recorder. Scan the QR code. And then register your notebook on their website. That's rather nice. That's something you normally get with expensive pens. I don't expect to see it. Oh, I see. That's what that means. That's the endless um, brand mark. This notebook is distinguished by its uncompromising attention to detail. Unfortunately, shouldn't have an apostrophe in there, so they missed that bit of detail, but never mind. It was scrupulously designed from the finest of materials and is centred around giving you immense pleasure in using the recorder. Good. Like it. So let's have a look at the paper. Well, first of all, let's just study the book itself. So there's a place there where you can put your name and details, I assume. Any reward for the finding of this book etc. Large flat as you'd expect, moleskin or pretty much any manufacturer to have nowadays. All these pages, the rear few are perforated I believe, yep you can see the perforation mark there where the fold is. I don't know if you can see it actually but let's just move up here. You can see a perforation mark there. Again, got their brand mark there. So, let's just see what it's like writing on this really rather splendid paper. It feels very much like a sort of um, Tomo River type paper. 
but let's just see what it's like when it's writing with something nice and straightforward like autumn oak. Uh. I apologise for the dog snoring. She's very rude. Right, with a fine pen, that feels really rather nice. That's not bad at all. Let's try a fine Visconti. Again, feels really rather marvellous that that is not bad at all feels like very good quality using noodlers with a 1.1 mil stub with a twisby goat you might be able to hear a bit of noise there that's probably largely because i'm writing on the very first sheet and writing onto the lined paper for guides as well Right. <clears throat> now, the first thing to note is absolutely no feathering whatsoever. That is exceptional performance from this just going to try to zoom in a little bit on that noodlers that really is exceptional behavior with really strongly pigmented inks you can tell the paper's resilience from the fact that the noodlers still hasn't dried all of the others have which is probably a factor of the central heating being on the house because it's damn cold out but the noodlers hasn't quite dried in fact it's taking so long I'm going to cheat and blot up the remainder there we go so now let's see what it's like on the other side well there's a little bit of shadow coming through you can see it most clearly on the noodlers of course but autumn oak no problem Israel Zeblau no problem at all yes the other two come through but they are 1.1 in mil stubs and that's going to show through that bit more strongly but I would say those equate to the very best paper I've ever used that is stunningly good thank you again very much to Nero's notes that is a wonderful notebook, one I certainly don't have any issue with recommending to anybody who wants to try them. Not only because I think this endless notepad is particularly nice, but because it's also very nice to support an Indian company, Indian manufacturer, rather than always sticking to German, Japanese or American. Well worth a try. Well... There you have it. One delightful notebook. I like the look of it, and I must admit, something that you don't often say, but I really like the feel of this. It's got a sort of textured, almost rubbery type of feel that doesn't feel quite like leather, but it feels like even on a really hot day when your hand's getting sweaty, that's not going to slide out of your hands, which is unnecessary since you've got a very nice pouch to put it in so obviously it won't slide out of your hands you'll be holding that but a very nice package really good paper very nicely manufactured I can recommend it I would just say it's very strange sometimes when you're standing talking to a camera and you suddenly realise that your head is at a bit of an angle because the leg on the tripod has given way. But this tripod from Review, R-E-V-U-E, 
is not something I can recommend to you because I don't think you'll ever find it. I bought this in 1978 and it's still working now even though it's lost a couple of buttons and clever bits but um, it is odd when you suddenly discover that you're moving like this. Never mind. Thanks a lot for watching that. Hope that was interesting. If you are so inclined, if you go to the link at the bottom, you'll find a way of getting through to Patreon, which is where I've got a particular project running to try to help maintain this channel. So if you'd like to support the channel, you can go there, pay only a couple of dollars a month, and you'll be helping no end to keep things going. Apart from that, if you've got any comments, go to the comments section. If you'd like to subscribe, hit the subscribe button. Button, and if you want to get notified when there's a new video hit the bell button and like it and share it and all those things and apart from that I'm now going to go because I've got to plan what I'm going to do for the next couple of weeks tomorrow I've got an excellent lunch with some friends that'll be nice and then next week I think I'm going to try to rattle through a whole bunch of notebooks of different types and because I think it's boring watching me write things I'm going to probably write out a bunch of things and then just talk about the paper rather than showing me writing which is pretty tedious and then new ideas for Christmas and the new year exciting times hopefully right thanks a lot take care I'm going back to my cup of Lapsang Souchong mixed with Assam now. It's absolutely divine. You can't see from there. No, obviously you can't because if I tip it like that it's going to tip all over the floor. I think I need to go and have a sit down with a nice bucket on my head. Cheers. No, that was goodbye. Bye bye.